Hi there, I'm John Bow. Welcome to JB's Track Tips. And this episode, we're going to cover scrutineering. Because most track days are run by car clubs, once again, we welcome Randy from the Mazda MX-5 Club. Welcome, mate. Good to be here, JB. So, Randy, explain to us what scrutineering is. What's it all about? Well, basically, scrutineering is the uh, safety checks that are conducted on the vehicle before the event, as well as your personal equipment. So, Randy, how do we know what the scrutineers are going to require before we actually go to the track? So basically in the SUP regs, which we covered off in an earlier episode, um, there'll be a list of what's required of the vehicle. Some clubs have got specific requirements for the vehicle, but essentially you just need a roadworthy vehicle and you've got to ensure that all loose items are taken out of the vehicle. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Now, obviously it's slightly different to some of the categories I've raced in, but what do I need to bring to scrutineering for a track day? So basically for a club track day, apart from the vehicle, um, you need to ensure that you bring a um, helmet, you got to bring um, some sort of fireproof clothing or at least long sleeve attire. Mm. Um, your motorsport Australia license or AASA license, as well as ensure that your vehicle's got a fire extinguisher installed. Okay, so you don't have to wear a, a, a go and buy a driving suit, a flameproof driving suit. You just need long sleeve shirt. Okay. Correct. Yeah. I thought yeah. I might be able to sell some of my driving suits. Randy, there's no point going into the track unless you get time so you know whether you're going faster or slower or what you you know whether you're improving so how, how do we go about all that so basically the timing gear which normally are called dorians will yes. be supplied by the uh, event organizers yes. and they're fitted to the vehicle either through cable ties to the lower part of the car or some of us do have an actual attachment on which the dorian just sits and what about camera equipment you know if you want to film yourself or film the track or go home and privacy of your own lounge room and watch yourself in action? Well, everyone wants to be a Steve McQueen. Yeah, yeah, well. So, yeah, um, or a Lewis cameras, Hamilton. Or a Lewis Hamilton, yeah. <laughs> so um, cameras are definitely allowed. Um, obviously, you've got to refer to SUP regs as to um, what type can be used for the event. Yes. The most important thing is that any camera needs to be uh, tethered to the vehicle solely if they happen to fall off, at yes. least they're not going to fly around and hit the driver in the head or, or impede the accelerator or anything like that. Yes, okay. Yeah. So there you go, you've got scrutineering down pat. Make sure you check your documentation though and make sure that your car is both roadworthy and safe before you go to a track. Thanks Randy, thanks for your help and your information mate. That's scrutineering covered, so thanks for watching JB's Track Tips. <laughs>